History remembers the glory, but forgets the sacrifice. History remembers the stars, but forgets the auditions. History remembers those who stand in the light, but forgets those who work in the darkness. How will history remember you? So how will history remember me? As best oceanic actor of 2022, mother Okay, well, uh, I am finally back in New Zealand. The Amsterdam fairy tale is over. Thankfully, my bag was recovered after a few days, so that's good news. Um, the bad news, um, my trophy got a little broken uh, in my luggage. Yes, I wrapped it in soft clothing, but this is a weighty award and hard to protect. Also, three days after arriving home, I tested positive for he who shall not be named. I'm vaccinated, I was pretty lucky, I didn't have really severe symptoms, but the fatigue, man, the fatigue will kick your ass, and even a few weeks removed from getting over the worst of my symptoms, I'm still struggling with that. That's the uh, yin and yang of filmmaking, as I like to say. One minute you're flying high, the next minute you come crashing back down to reality. So after many miles, an award, an illness, and several thousand dollars in plane tickets and travel expenses later, how do I feel? To be honest, I feel like the trip was well worth it. Winning the award capped off the journey in an almost too good to be true sort of way, and it gave this travel vlog that real life fairy tale ending as a storyteller you always hope for but very rarely get. And yes, it does feel nice to be in the winner's circle, taking the stage with super famous YouTubers, super talented actors, and yes, even multi-Oscar award-winning writers. And it's almost like saying, my little film and my little performance belongs in the conversation. So I'm not just a fan looking up to these people, uh, I'm a contemporary, and how yeah, that is a cool feeling. However, it's really important not to let the idea of winning awards be the thing that validates your work, because realistically, and <laughs> I speak from experience, you are going to spend 99.9% .9 of your career not winning the award. Being the runner-up, being not even nominated, congratulating other people on their success. And the Oscar goes to Daniel Day-Lewis. So if your own self-worth depends on being in the 0.01%, you're not going to ever be happy making your movies. Um, I'll dive into this in a later episode, but the sad truth is, no matter how much you love filmmaking, oftentimes filmmaking will not love you back. So on that note, I'm simply going to say what I would have said had I not won the award. It's just nice to be in the conversation. And ultimately, life is about experiences. And this trip was a unique, interesting and beautiful experience. And that is without any awards. I had an amazing time. So I don't actually think the question is, how will history remember you? I think the question is, how will you remember your history. Make the most of your own unique opportunities and try and get out there and have as many beautiful, interesting experiences as possible. As always, I am the Savage Filmmaker and I'll see you when I pay off this credit card. And for anyone that has watched older and didn't like my performance in it, my uh, little gold friend here thinks it's fine the way it is.